Hi everyone, this is Elizabeth from Strange Ago, and in this video we are going to explore the history of wood toothpicks. You might not think much of the lowly wooden toothpick, but over a hundred years ago the toothpick was a hotly debated topic in newspapers across the United States. For thousands of years, people from all over the world have used toothpicks made of various materials to clean their teeth, but only in the United States did someone finally decide to take the lowly wood toothpick and turn it into a commercial business. New England and Maine were the major exporters of toothpicks, and the toothpick habit was soon a trend all across the United States. According to a newspaper report in 1911, the toothpick was a tool of the educated races. So-called savages supposedly did not use toothpicks to clean their teeth. While this assumption was completely untrue, the article did go to show that the newly made wooden toothpicks were being used by the upper classes to clean their teeth after each meal. According to some reports, the best type of toothpick that was used in the early 20th century was made of quill. The reason for the preference towards quill was that it would not leave splinters in the gums. While many people praised the benefits of toothpicking with a wooden toothpick, others claimed that the habit was dangerous and sometimes even deadly. In one report published in 1890, a doctor and a dentist claimed that the American habit of toothpick chewing is responsible for a great number of human ills. Splinters in the gums were mentioned, but one doctor also claimed that the splinters were sometimes swallowed and could lacerate the stomach. The Portuguese also made and exported wooden toothpicks. In the early 1900s, their wood of choice was orange wood. The Portuguese toothpicks were slightly thicker than the American variety, and they only had one pointed end. The most expensive wooden toothpicks money could buy in the early 1900s came from Austria. These wooden toothpicks were whittled out of Alps wood and were labeled as the highest grade of wooden toothpick money could buy. These expensive toothpicks were extremely popular in Chicago. Thank you for watching my latest video. Please don't forget to give this video a like and, while you're at it, subscribe to Strange Ago to keep up with the latest videos covering our strange history.